She's blessed when Sister Ruth is here. And I'm praying she'll stay longer, be around longer. Let me believe we can tire down. Good luck. <laughs> Hallelujah. But she's here to bless us. So let's give her a great big hand as she comes tonight. God bless you, Sister Ruth. There is a wheel within the wheel and it's turning in me it's turning in me it's turning in me there's a wheel within the wheel and it's turning in me it's turning in the glory there's a fire within the fire Within the fire and it's burning in me. It's burning in the glory. I can see, I can see, I can see the glory. It can see the glory. I can see the glory. I can see. I can see, I can see the glory, I can see the glory. Oh, there's a wheel within the wheel, and it's turning in me, it's turning in me, it's turning in me. There's a wheel. Within the wheel and it's turning in me, it's turning in the glory. There's a fire within the fire and it's burning in me, it's burning in me, it's burning in me. There's a fire. Within the fire, and it's burning in me. It's burning in the glory. Declare that you can see. I can see. I can see. I can see the glory. I can see the glory. Glory. I can see. I can see, I can see the glory, I can see the glory. Let's give the Lord a good clap of praise. Hallelujah, I can see the glory. Hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah. How many are seeing more than you used to see? Amen. That ability to see is increasing, and we're seeing greater and greater glory. You know, there was that prophetic word earlier in the service, and the Lord said there were realms of glory. <laughs> he said there are realms where it's rain. There are realms where it's fire. Amen. And suddenly somebody began to run and I, all I could think about uh, was that message uh, after they had seen, the prophet had seen the cloud the size of a man's hand. He said, get thee down <laughs> and don't let the rain stop you. Hallelujah. And he ran before, amen. Hallelujah. That anointing to run came upon him because the rain was coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Then the Lord said about the fire, and I saw the fire begin to move on people. <laughs> Hallelujah. He just couldn't stay still because of that fire burning. Hallelujah. When the fire comes, we react. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just sing it one more time. Let that wheel turn. Let the fire burn. Hallelujah. Let your eyes be anointed to see. There's a wheel. Within the wheel, and it's turning in me, turning in me, turning in me. There's a wheel within the wheel, and it's turning in me, it's turning in the glory. There's a fire. Within the fire, and it's burning in me. It's burning in me. Burning in me. There's a fire. Within the fire, and it's burning in me. It's burning in the glory. I can see. I can see, I can see the glory, I can see the glory, I can see the glory, I can see, I can see I, <coughs> the glory, I can see the glory. Hallelujah. 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 Sister Smith, I saw in vision just now, I saw a great spirit of seeking after God that fell upon you. I don't think I've ever seen the spirit of seeking after God that came to anyone, but I saw this and it almost made you to bend over. You were almost bent over double because of this great desire to seek after the Lord. I, I saw this, uh, that you're going to find yourself in the greatest contentment and joy and delight. It's going to be in the seeking. <laughs> Hallelujah. You, not that you haven't been a seeker. We've all been. But God's bringing a new spirit of seeking after Him. Oh, hallelujah. I see you rising up in the night seasons. I see you going to bed late and getting up early. I see your whole pattern and lifestyle beginning to change. That there's a, a secret place that you're meeting with God in a special way. Hallelujah. And you're going to be at the forefront of this revival in your church. I see it. Amen. Hallelujah. There are certain things they expect from you from your husband they don't expect from you but you're going to be a spokesperson oh yes that anointing that's coming upon you hallelujah and in the seeking you're going to find and find and find as one that's panning for gold and one seeking for treasure the more you find the more you're going to want to find the more you seek the more you're going to want to seek the more you hear, the more you're going to want to hear. The more you see, the more you're going to want to see. The more you experience, the more you're going to want to experience. There's a new anointing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, we bless you, Lord. 
We bless you, Lord. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, Sister Hirsch. I see God turning your face upward in a new way. <laughs> hallelujah. You've had seasons of that upward look, but this is going to be a long season. And I see that the length of the season, if you wanted to spell out the distances as far as Virginia is from California, but in that seeking, hallelujah, we're lifting up your face toward God. It's going going to take you across America. God is going to give you and your husband tremendous open doors across this land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As the revival breaks, the ministry is going to enlarge and be increased. Hallelujah. But it's going to be as you set your face upward. Oh, hallelujah. And his face beams into you. And I see you pushing away so many things of the natural you're pushing them back you're pushing behind you they're just being pushed amen the things that would encroach upon what God has for you you're pushing them back and you're stepping forward onto a platform that God is making for you in this last day oh hallelujah 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 praise the lord god i believe this i i just keep seeing god will raise you up and lift you up as high as gloria copeland if you'll do what god said today and lift your face upward amen we're going to see god raising up great ministries hallelujah hallelujah great enlargements oh yes great enlargements hallelujah hallelujah we've come to camp meeting <laughs> to be enlarged in god for this last day revival 1996 the year of change <laughs> hallelujah he's changing us from glory to glory to glory sister sister lofton let me say this <laughs> don't get to, don't get complacent with what god's already put in your hand i know you've got that radio tower over there but I saw God multiply it, and I saw three radio towers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whether they're all in the same place or in different places, there are three radio towers that God's got in your future. Don't be complacent with what he's already given to you, but reach out and take a hold of the greater. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Our sister from Norway, I saw, I saw God uh, working in your life, and I saw you returning to Norway on fire for the Lord in a way that you've never been. And your life's going to take new uh, purpose uh, in connection with Norway. Amen. God's going to use you in ministry to bless people. Uh, hallelujah. And whereas you've been a little retiring, God's going to put a boldness in your spirit uh, for the things of the kingdom of God. And other things that have taken your time and attention are going to fall away from you. Uh, Hallelujah, as you look at Norway uh, with a different heart and a different spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just give the Lord a clap offering. <laughs> hallelujah. God's doing great things in all the earth. Hallelujah. You may be seated. We had several wonderful things that were happening today. It was, uh, it was interesting. One thing i i went out uh, and had lunch with brother brad and his wife and uh, one of the things they wanted to talk to us to me about was uh, us getting back on television here at this ministry he said he'd already spoken to my brother concerning uh, uh, the public ac access cable 
And I said, well, it's interesting because we had a senator here at Thanksgiving that wanted to speak to us about that. And, and, uh, and, uh, and then yesterday, before he left to go back to his home state, uh, he was telling us again, he said, if you're, you and your brother don't find out what's possible for you to do in this area with cable, I'm going back and get my office working on it. He said, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to find out, he said. He said, you need to be on television so the people can see. And he said, this cable is not that expensive. And then today, Brother Brad came along and was talking. I said, they're both flowing right there <laughs> in the Spirit of God. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Then this afternoon, I was over in the TV building and as I was there, I heard my brother taking a telephone call, and I said, what is it? He said, it's the senator's office calling. There, I'm being invited to go up to the Capitol in Pennsylvania and be the guest chaplain for two mornings. Oh, <laughs> hallelujah, God opening new doors, amen, hallelujah, new opportunities that God's doing by His Spirit. And then this afternoon we had Brother McDougall has a new person in connection with his publishing company that's involved in marketing, and he came down with his wife to discuss some of this with us, perhaps doing a new cover on my book to make it a little more uh, of, uh, accessible and, uh, and uh, perhaps appeal a little bit more to the secular market and to the general market of today, and we were discussing it. Uh, he said, I hadn't read your book until this week. But he said, I am a praiser and a worship leader. And he said, I've read all the books, but this is the best one. And I was pleased about that, of course. But he said this. He said, my wife and I have read it, and we believe that it will sell two to 300,000. And he said, I believe if we market it right, it'll sell a half a million copies. How many are we going to believe for it, aren't we? God's promised me that he would use it to, to help bring in this last day revival. Amen. Hallelujah. Now God's sending help. Hallelujah. Doesn't he say he'll lay help upon us? Oh, yes. He's laying help upon us in these days. Hallelujah. By the power of his spirit. I want to read tonight from Isaiah chapter 6. I, I felt we could hardly do anything else after the beginning of the service when God was leading us along the line of Isaiah chapter 6. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. He's making worshipers of us. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims, each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried. And the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone. Because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, 
Here am I, send me. Reading from verse 3. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I felt tonight we were joining in with that great angelic host around the throne. Amen. How many felt that lifting up at the very throne of God? Hallelujah. They were not just singing together. They were singing antiphonally. One was crying to the other, amen, and we had almost a little of that tonight as one, as sister sang, the angels cried holy and we said holy, <laughs> hallelujah, we were crying to each other, calling out, one was saying holy and the others were responding with holy and God is going to bring forth in this last day revival uh, heaven's type of singing amen uh, heaven's kind of music oh yes uh, we're going to see God do it uh, in which uh, one will sing beautiful and the other side of the church will respond uh, as the echo on top of the mountain beautiful beautiful holy holy Amen from the heights of glory. Amen. We're going to have that liberty. Amen. Just to begin to sing and join in those very rhythms and patterns of heaven. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Last week I had a couple of days before our meeting starting in Atlanta. And I had just arrived in Atlanta that morning coming all the way from Australia. And I should have had a little jet lag. But when I was sitting at the breakfast table uh, of Connie and Bill Wilson, she was mentioning, she said, you know, we're going to have to go up next week uh, for the presidential prayer breakfast. And she said, I have found a, a, a cheap ticket that we can get two for the price of one and we can fly on value jet and and she said it's going to hardly cost us anything to go up to Washington she was talking to me like this I said where else does value jet go oh she says it goes to a number of cities I said well let's check and see where brother Rodney Howard Brown is I said let's check and see where he is so she went upstairs and she got this list and brought it down. Oh, she said he's in Jacksonville, Florida. I said, I wonder if we can get a value jet price to go down to Jacksonville. She got on the telephone. They said at 1 o'clock there's a cheap fare. <laughs> I mean, this is about 9.30 in the morning. I had just flown all night. <laughs> just gotten in all the way from Australia with that layover in Los Angeles where we went sightseeing and saw Angeles Temple and Bonnie Bray Street and Azusa Street and we had we'd been doing all of the Holy Ghost things out there. But uh, she said, okay, two for the price of one. My husband and I will go and we'll call our daughter and see if she can get off of work. Well, in a few minutes, <laughs> we had it organized. We were all out at the airport at 12 o'clock. Amen. Just out there, had this flight down there to uh, Brother H Rodney Howard Brown's meeting. And I was thrilled. I'd been in his meeting down at uh, the 700 Club January a year ago. And maybe it's been two years from, from this particular January. But I noticed such growth. I was just thrilled with the way the growth that had taken place. And one night, I think it was on... Uh, the next night as we were there, suddenly Brother Rodney began to sing a song in tongues. And it was one of these waltz type of rhythms. And, uh, you know, we don't usually sing waltz type of rhythms in church. 
But uh, at first, I thought he, he was singing, I thought he was singing a song he had learned from Africa or some other place, because, you know, he's traveled a good bit. Uh, and then I realized, no, he was singing in other tongues. It was this tremendous waltz type of music. Uh, and I thought, oh, yes, I know that, because uh, I've heard waltz music in heaven lots of times. Amen. There's a different rhythm in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. It's not some of the contemporary rhythm that we know, but I've heard that waltz-like music. And he began to sing, and he didn't sing it just a minute, but he sang in tongues and sang that waltz until everybody began to join. And people got out in the aisle and began to dance. And they began to, you could tell these people had never done a waltz in church before. Before, but this waltz-like rhythm began to come forward. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why? Because I've seen the angels do that dance. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. I've heard the angels singing that rhythm. And I knew, you know, all you have to do is look into the heavenlies and begin to copy what the angels are doing round about the throne. I was so blessed that he had the liberty enough to do it. Amen. Hallelujah. There are lots of things the Holy Ghost will do if the leadership is comfortable enough with the Holy Spirit to do it. Hallelujah. The people will respond if we are not uncomfortable with that which the Holy Ghost is doing. There was just this wonderful sway of the Holy Ghost. Oh, we were just swaying. Hallelujah. It was like as if we were all dancing on the sea of glass. Oh, the glory. <laughs> oh, the glory as we began to dance. And I can't remember how long, but I would say maybe a half hour or longer we were dancing like that. Uh, hallelujah. A whole church. There were several thousand people uh, just singing in the spirit and dancing. God's doing a new thing. Amen. Hallelujah. We're learning to come to the throne and see the patterns of the heavenlies and hear the song of the angels and watch the dance. I have sometimes seen the angels as they came up to the throne bowing and then came back like this dancing and dancing back and forth to the throne of God. I have seen the angels do many types of dances that God God, hallelujah, is causing us to learn how to just let go and do it in this day. Oh, yes, hallelujah, God's anointing us with a new anointing. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. One day down in Atlanta, while we were there, uh, they were pretty sedate when we got there, <coughs> uh, this church was, but... Uh, they got freer every day. And this one day, there was a move of the Spirit, and I just sensed uh, that God wanted somebody that would do these great uh, sort of leaps and twirls from one side of the church to the other. <laughs> and I encouraged one or two of the sisters to respond and at first you know they just were uh, uh, being very uh, uh, timid uh, but God began to free them more and more just to do these great sweeping movements uh, across the front of the church uh, hallelujah praising and worshiping the Lord the angels were crying one to another <laughs> holy Holy, holy, holy. Which reminds me when I was motioning like that, my brother commented on the Presbyterian <laughs> preacher who is now the chaplain of the American Senate. 
and he was speaking at the presidential uh, in the evening. He, the presidential prayer breakfast was in the morning, and that night in the evening they had what they call the family dinner. And there were about, uh, I think there were 5,000 present in the morning, 4,000 in the evening. But I said, oh, he's teaching these people how to praise God. He said to these people, I want you to say amen. And they all said amen. And then he said to this group, he said, I want you to say hallelujah. And they all said hallelujah. I mean, these are mostly evangelicals. <laughs> Then he said to this group, I want you to say, what was the third thing you want? He said, I want you to do it like they, like they do it up in Scotland. Hear, hear. So they all shouted, hear, hear, as a type of praise. Well, <laughs> then he started preaching and he said, when I point to you, you respond. And this group, amen. And this group, hallelujah. And this group, hear, hear. And this group, hallelujah. And this group, hear, hear. And that group, amen. And he had it moving every, every phrase until he had 4,000 people that had never opened their mouths audibly to praise God. They were all doing the amens, the hallelujahs, the hear, hears. I thought, oh, God's doing something with this group. They've been a, a very conservative evangelical group. But you know, some of you have heard about Brother Doug Coe, who has been tremendously used of God up in, in Fellowship House in Washington. He's reached out to the senators and the congressmen for years and has invited uh, world leaders to come to that prayer breakfast and... Uh, <laughs> And, uh, you know, I sat at the table with the Joint Chiefs of Staff and oh, so many ambassadors were there and uh, some presidents and prime ministers and others were there at the prayer breakfast. Uh, but I, I could tell there was something happening. I didn't know exactly what all had happened. Uh, but the Lord lets you hear. And that night, as we were sitting... Uh, you know, I, I never worry about which table I get at at these important events, whether it's up near the front or all the way in the back. We were, we were almost the last table in the place. <laughs> and just as we were sitting there, someone brought up a lady and said, I want you to meet Marge Lotus. I said, oh, that's a wonderful name. I, I said, I've ministered a lot in the Far East. I like that word, Lotus. As we were talking, they said, she's the sister of Doug Coe. She said, yes. She said, my brother said when I was filled with the Holy Ghost years ago <laughs> that I would go crazy in six months. <laughs> but she said, it's been all of these years. Then she looked at me and she said, you know, my brother's just recently been to Toronto. <laughs> and he says it's God and says it's changing him. I got so excited. Tears began to stream down my cheeks. I said, Lord, you've brought us all the way up here. If for nothing else, to let us know that Doug Coe is being touched by the revival fires. This will do more for Washington, D.C. than anything else because they always send two tickets to the prayer breakfast to every congressman and every senator hallelujah for this prayer presidential prayer breakfast and I got so excited because God is changing him from glory to glory do you understand what I'm saying hallelujah no wonder the angels could sing the whole earth is full of his glory oh hallelujah that glory that fills the earth uh, is being manifested and revealed in this day and hour by the spirit of the Lord and you and I have got to just join in that heavenly anthem and sing holy 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 let that, let that uh, uh, antiphonal type of singing begin to come out of our spirit. Uh, hallelujah, bringing us release. Uh, I want to read from Psalm 45. 
my heart is bubbling over <laughs> with a good matter. Amen. My heart bubbleth. It boileth up. Amen. It boileth or bubbleth up. My heart is indicting a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made touching the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Oh, I'm glad that he doesn't say my tongue is like the pen. But my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. And I speak concerning those things that pertain to the king. Hallelujah. And then some of that, uh, that wonderful uh, uh, anointed word from the sons of Korah begins, Thou art fairer than the children of men grace is poured into thy lips therefore God hath blessed thee forever gird thy sword upon thy thigh O most mighty with thy glory and thy majesty and in thy majesty ride prosperously because of truth. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then he goes on and on. This beauty concerning the king. Let me say this. <laughs> These sons of Korah had a revelation of Jesus before he was ever born into the earth. Thou art fairer than the children of men and grace is poured into thy lips over and over the people of the Lord's day said no man spake as this man speaketh why because the grace of God but what is God doing God is giving us a prophetic anointing to sing concerning himself oh yes hallelujah hallelujah you say but I, I don't have any poetic ability you don't need it the Holy Ghost has it <laughs> amen oh Oh, yes you say but I don't have a gift of utterance well don't worry the Holy Ghost has hallelujah and he enriches us in all utterance and in all knowledge while we are waiting for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ he's anointing these lips and causing these lips to be the pen of a ready writer. I'm amazed as I watch the anointing fall on people. Babes and sucklings begin to speak forth the revelation of the Spirit of God. They begin to speak forth of the beauty of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I, I'm, I'm blessed because... Periodically, the Lord will have somebody send me something in Jerusalem, and I always read their visions and revelations and things that they send. And here, here's this lovely, the lovely word that that uh, someone sent me in Jerusalem at the end of the year. I had been praying. In fact, I was on a long fast, believing God. I didn't tell anybody what I was fasting about. I was fasting because I want to tune in to heaven's song. <laughs> Amen. I, I don't know about you, but I'm tired of earth's song. Amen. Amen. I, I, I want to get the rhythms of heaven. I want to get the I want to get the music of heaven. I want to get the rhythms of heaven. I want to get the words. And one of the sisters, not knowing this, God had her send me this fax on the, la on the 30th of December. Just a simple little sister down in Georgia had been in one of my meetings, and it's called Sweet Melodies. Come unto me, sing the sweet songs of my melodies. Come unto me, sing the sweet songs in heaven's gates. Come unto me, sing in heaven. Come unto me, songs made in heaven, songs made in heaven. Come up 
I can't hear you. Come sing the sweet melodies in heaven. I am with you. Rise up, my children, sing my melodies, melodies of songs new, newness, sweetness, sweet melodies in heaven's doors. Sing on heaven's shores, glory shores. Sing with shouting saints. Sing, it's your place. Sing with heaven's host. Join in, sing my melodies. For heaven's just a breath, a song away. There are songs in my presence. Come sing them with me. My sweet smelling incense, my children, my friends. Come unto me, bring my incense. Come and sing with me, oh hallelujah. My tongue is as the pen, is the pen of a ready writer. Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured into thy lips. Hallelujah. God wants to do this for us so that we can join in with that angelic host even as the angels sing round about the throne and one cried to another. <laughs> Hallelujah. One cried to another. One cried to another saying, Holy, 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 holy is the Lord of hosts. <laughs> you know, we always are concerned about having things one verse after another, one phrase after another. We want to, uh, you know, we want to have many, many stanzas, but God is going to bring us into that simplicity. Amen. The simplicity in which whatever word it is, whether we're singing majesty or glory or holy <laughs> or whatever word or phrase that in its simplicity it begins to take on the very incense that we're offering to God that it has its own perfume that it begins to be hallelujah the song of heaven and not just the song of the earth earthly oh hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord who has the Lord got to sing these other than the angels he's got you and me as we yield ourselves one of the things brother Bob when we were out at Angela's temple we saw all of the sheet music and the songs that sister Amy wrote you know one of the signs of revival is anointed music that comes from the very throne of God. Hallelujah. And they're all oftentimes we think, well, we can't sing, but just let that anointing come. <laughs> what does a drunk man do? He sings. <laughs> Drunk man sings every song he knows. Oh, <laughs> hallelujah. When we were in Melbourne, Australia a couple of weeks ago, this uh, Sri Lankan man was suddenly filled with the Holy Ghost as we prayed for him. He had never spoken in tongues, and suddenly he began to speak in tongues. And as he did, he began to do the most graceful dance. We were just blessed by watching him dance. I've never seen anyone, male or female, do a more exquisite dance than this man did as he was filled with the Holy Ghost. It was all of heaven and not of the earth. And then the next couple of days of the meeting, that same anointing came back on him and he began to dance. Hallelujah. I, I, I have a feeling if I lived in Melbourne, I'd go to that church just to watch him dance when the anointing came on him. It was, it spoke of heaven. It spoke of the throne. It spoke of a glory. 
higher than anybody in the congregation had. And he had just been filled with the Spirit. Uh, but he was yielding uh, to the Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to find the Lord anointing us uh, and we're going to respond in ways uh, that we've never responded before. Uh, our tongue, the pen of a ready writer, uh, joining into the chorus uh, of the angels as they sing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I I've heard heaven many times, but I haven't, oh, I haven't haven't learned yet how to capture it and reproduce it after I wake up in the morning. Amen. Hallelujah. I can remember the glory of the music. Amen. It fills my soul and I walk on that glory cloud all day long. But I don't have that ability yet to capture it and sing it. But I'm going to get it. Amen. That's what I'm going to do. Hallelujah. I'm happy when I hear the angels singing with us and when I hear the trumpet trumpets trumpeting as we're singing and you look around the room and you know there's no trumpeter pr present uh, but you hear the trumpets uh, hallelujah I'm glad when they join in with us but I want to more and more be able to join in with them uh, hallelujah with that music that comes uh, from the throne we're going to have that ability uh, because God's going to take us more and more uh, to the throne of God. Oh, hallelujah. You know, this contemporary music, uh, you know, a lot of people said, well, if we do contemporary music, we'll get the young people. But some of the young people come to them to these great concerts and they immediately start to gyrate a little bit because uh, the sound is no different than what they had back where they were. They can't hear the words at these concerts. They're just sort of going along with it. But we're going to have heaven song that's going to come down into the midst of the people. Hallelujah. Not of the contemporary world. It's not going to have any touch of the earth earthly on it. It's going to have the sound and the imprint of heaven. Oh, yes. Heaven. That sound of heaven is going to be sung. And we're going to be those who sing it. <laughs> God's going to anoint us unto it. Hallelujah. Joining in with the angels as they sing, holy, holy. You say, well, what do we do in the meantime? Well, I made up my mind years ago that I, I knew that part of this great revival would be singing in the Spirit, a great part. A great part, not just a little part, a great part of it is going to be singing in the Spirit. And even though I couldn't sing in the Spirit as well as lots of people I knew, I was going to do it anyway. Amen. Do it as you're able to do it until He anoints you more. <laughs> Uh, do it with the anointing you have. Do it to the best of your ability. Hallelujah. If your voice cracks, do it anyway. Hallelujah. If you're not able to. But you'll find this. <laughs> It'll get better and better. It'll have more and more glory. Oh, yes. More and more glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord and our Heavenly Father. I believe you tonight uh, for fresh anointings upon every one of us. Uh, we want, Lord, to join in the angel's song. Uh, we want to sing of your fairness, your beauty, your glory. We believe you, Lord, for an unction to sing. Uh, we believe thee, Lord, for release, Lord, in the depth of our beings. Uh, that you'll take self-consciousness away and that we'll join the angelic host as they sing holy, holy, holy. Let heaven's sound fill our soul. Let the rhythms of heaven, let them flow out of our, the depth of our being. 
Let there be rivers, rivers of living water that flow. Let there be songs, yea, songs of glory from the ends of the earth, from the isles of the sea. Have they heard songs? Glory, glory, glory to the saints. Glory, glory, glory to the saints. Glory, glory, glory to the Lord. As the saints began to sing and worship the King. Hallelujah. Could we just gather here at the altar? Halabababa. He be 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 ba ba ya ya. Halabariando. Everyone just gathering in. Come in a little closer so we can all gather together. Hallelujah. Halabarisi alamanda Holy, holy, Talabariashi Alamandaro, Hiribi, Bibi, Bibi, Alamandaro, Alamavandaro. Halama Baba Holy, holy, holy Holy, holy Holy, holy, holy Hallelujah. Ka 
Harababa bandoro Hayari diana Yanorandoro Yarababa ri Haramaria Yanoro Alababa banareyo Hayari diana Yanoro Alamaya Alabaranda Ribibi Idia Ridia Nara Yandara Yandoro Alababa Banda Ribia Doro Alabarando Alamandoro Alababa Baridiana Morandoro More Horamandoro Uriayandorayo Alamaranda Alamando, Alabari, Arama, Holabo, Alamaria, Randore, Yandoro. Holy 